You know, it really wasn't that long ago that any SSD was going to cost you hundreds of dollars, but we've finally gotten to the point where SSDs are reaching the sub hundred dollar mark. So OCZ has their Onyx series of drives. These feature an Indolinks barefoot controller, just like their higher end Agility and Vertex drives. But the difference is that it does have lower end flash memory on it. So that means that in terms of your maximum performance, you only get up to 125 megabyte per second reads and 70 megabyte per second writes. So it does suffer a little bit in terms of performance compared to a more premium drive. But the advantage is that you're still going to absolutely smoke a magnetic hard drive in terms of the, um, the random performance, so for little things like OS. And you also have the option, of course, if you're worried about those uh, sustained reads and writes, of rating these drives up. So this is a bit of a, this unboxing is meant to be a bit of a lead-in to another episode I'm going to be doing shortly. If I can ever get the box open, then um, that would really be a major step towards having that happen for me here. Oh, okay, never mind. This doesn't seal as badly as I thought. Okay, so we just pop that open. There we are. And we open up the drive. So, I've actually got eight of these. And I'm going to be running them all on a RAID controller to see what kind of numbers we can get if we team up a bunch of entry-level drives uh, on a RAID controller versus running uh, one higher-end drive. So here we are. We have an installation guide and warranty info. OCZ covers this, I believe, for three years. Uh, limited warranty... Uh, that should be on the back. Oh, two years on Onyx drives. So you do get a slightly shorter warranty, but in terms of price, they are, are not even close to the other drives, so you got to kind of take the good with the bad. Uh, it looks like they're standard SSD drives, so you've got a nice black housing. This is a two and a half inch drive, so it is compatible with either desktop or notebook computer. On the back, you find a sticker that you shouldn't remove because then your warranty will be void. And at the back of the drive, you find a standard SATA power and SATA 2 data interface. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the OCZ Onyx. And uh, hopefully you'll stay tuned on my blog for the uh, interesting video that I'm going to have coming up as soon as I have time.